Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate clicking on that video as always. And we are back with another first impressions video. And if you guys remember a couple weeks back, I did a little online shopping video. I jumped on Joma Shop. They were having a fantastic sale on Zhirzhov fragrances, the niche Italian fragrance house of Zhirzhov. And I was able to grab two fragrances. Were fantastic deals in terms of what you typically see these for sale. I haven't smelled them yet. They're total first impression. So whether or not they were actually worth it remains to be seen. I'm going to dig into these. The first scent that we are going to try actually was able to grab a tester bottle of Zafiro and it comes in this from Geoma Shop. It just comes in this little white uh, tester box. So you're not getting the full press here, but uh, let's see. So Zafiro there, and this is the 100 ml and I am excited to try this one. And then I also was able to pick up another super hyped Zhirzhov fragrance that you hear talked about quite a bit. A lot of you guys kept telling me, you gotta try this, you gotta try this. I finally have it. Scent we are talking about is Zhirzhov's 40 knots and it comes in this massive box. But this is the 50 ml that I actually paid like 125 for. So it was like 125 for the 50 knot, I'm sorry, 125 for the 40 knots. And I wanna say around 110 for the tester of Zafiro. So let's jump into it. I'm gonna try both on skin. I'm wearing nothing today. I'm gonna try them on skin, see what I get, take a look at the notes and let you guys know my overall impressions of these. So let's get into it. In case any of you guys were wondering, you do in fact get a cap with a tester bottle if you order from Joma Shop. So really nice bottle. Uh, I like this little classy sorta uh, engra it's not engraved. It's almost like a sticker, but I like that. I like that little design on there. You do have the notes listed here. So I'm going to try not to look at those notes because I want to kind of be surprised. I want to see what I get from this. I don't know much about the scent other than I want to say this is more of a cool weather fragrance. I could be wrong about that. Let's get this on skin. And uh, well, first we'll take a look at the atomizer. Okay. Nice atomizer, typical of Zhirzhov. I, I own Overture and I absolutely love that fragrance. Okay, in the air, wow. Hmm, I'm getting a lot of florals in the air. Not bad though, let's see. Wow, really sort of opulent in the air. Wow, so very spicy, warm, spicy on first spray, on first sniff of this. Very unique, unlike anything I've smelled before, that's, a safe bet. What am I getting from this? It's a mix of spice. I'm getting what com is coming across as cinnamon to me. There's a slight bit of fruity sweetness in here. Could be cardamom, really nice. Very floaty and airy, but also warm, spicy, dry. So I'm curious to know if, well, I mean, off first spray and off first impressions, I would say this is probably a cooler weather scent. It's getting a little bit woody. Maybe there's a little bit of vanilla in here. I definitely want to take a look at these notes. So the notes for Safiro from Zhirzhov, top notes are bergamot, divana, wine must, and elemi. Mid notes are cardamom, carnation, cinnamon, and iris. And the base notes are honey of the gods, incense, oud, and amber. Amazing. Uh, breakdown there of notes and very interesting. The wine note is interesting. I guess I can kind of see it in here. Uh, for me, this is a perfectly unisex fragrance, if not leaning a bit more masculine for me, but that could change as this dries down. Uh, overall, a really nice scent. I'm definitely getting that warmth from the amber, the spice. The more this settles in, the more this is definitely probably a cooler weather type fragrance. Really nice nonetheless. It's that cinnamon that's really doing it for me. And that can be hit or miss in some fragrances. I think if there's a little bit of sweetness added to it, it works perfectly. And in this, you're getting some of that honey, slight sweetness, that ambery honey spice. So overall, really impressed with this one. I'm gonna let that settle down. I'm gonna bust open 40 knots. That is the one that I've been really looking forward to trying. So let's get into it. So the box for the Zhirzhov, very nice. You have this sort of, uh, I guess, faux leather. Uh, it's padded. It feels soft to the touch, like the interior of a, like an, a luxury uh, German vehicle or something. So really nice. You have the gold foiled X on the front for Zhirzhov. You got Zhirzhov on the bottom of the box here in that same gold foil and opens up, uh, you have this 
nice microfiber type blanket. And then there is the bottle. Wow, beautiful bottle. Love the color on here. So already impressed with the presentation. The color is almost like glowing. That blue purple sort of uh, indigo type color bottle there. And then you have obviously the signature Zhirzhov cap. So really, really nice. Let's see what the atomizer looks like here. Okay. Nice atomizer, pretty consistent, Zhirzhov. Uh, You know, I went with the 50 ml and I'm looking at it and I think it's perfect. With all the fragrance that I own, I mean, you can't really go wrong at this point with a 50 ml. Okay, this this immediately to me is interesting. Um, obviously, I know a bit about 40 knots. I've heard other people talk about it, how it's sort of what you're expecting with the name in the bottle is a more aquatic scent and i am getting some of those aquatics that's salty it has a salty quality to this immediately right off the bat is what i'm picking up i'm not necessarily picking up anything other than that from an aquatic standpoint i know this gets compared to dior's ombre noe and i really like that scent i do have a decant of it but i have to say immediately off the bat i'm not getting much of ombre noe here there is a subtle sort of rose vibe to this and i don't know if rose is an official note in here but i do know that that ambery rose that i get from ombre noe is very pronounced which here it's more subtle so there is some amber here i think but it's definitely a more subtle tamed down rose and it's balanced out with that salt one thing i will say is this smells super masculine super classy elegant really is the best word for it so that is in line with ombre noe that is a very elegant smelling fragrance this can absolutely be worn formally really dressed up this is going to work it's super smooth really high quality smelling fragrance wow okay so there is a greenness coming out a bit. It's a little bit sweet. It's adding now more to that aquatic vibe. So um, it's spring feeling. Like think springtime after a rainstorm, plants growing. It's that lushness that is creeping through that saltiness. And that rose, those florals are settling in even more. They're tapering off a bit. Yeah, more woodiness, more saltiness. This is awesome. I am liking this one already on first spray. This has only been on my hand a couple minutes, so I want to give it time. Let's take a look at the notes really quickly, and then I will jump back to Zafiro and see how that's changed. So the notes listed for 40 knots from Zhirzhov, woody notes, cedar, salt, seawater, and green notes. Really what I'm getting mostly is a sweet woodiness with some salt, a little bit of rose, that aquatic vibe is creeping in a bit more than it did on initial spray. Super rich, super classy, uh, luxurious, smooth as hell, as I said. Super smooth fragrance. Definitely can be worn in the warmer months. More of an evening out fragrance to me, although I think it would work during the day as well. It just is high quality screams luxury. And I guess that's appropriate because it's the collection this is part of this represents the yacht club um and each fragrance in the line represents a different club this is the yacht club so that makes sense i can see this being worn at a yacht club yeah there's just something super addictive about it let me jump back over to the zafiro so in the zafiro i'm getting more now of a resinous feel to it it smells a little richer uh some of that cinnamon is it's still there but it's tapering a bit the spice is a sort of uh, blending together a little better than on initial spray. It is familiar. It smells like, you know, maybe you opened your spice cupboard and you had incense burning in the in the same room. It's they're all sort of coming together in this really nice, definitely cool weather type scent. I'm actually curious to see what my wife thinks of this one because it does not have a lot of sweetness. Although you're picking up that honey, it's that raw honey that when you smell it, it doesn't necessarily smell sweet. Um, it, there's a little earthiness to it. So I'm curious to see what she thinks of this one. 40 knots is excellent. It's just definitely, um, I think a more mass appealing fragrance compared comparatively to the two. If you And I wouldn't compare these two, they're very different fragrances, but 
I think of the more mass appealing everyday kind of wear, the 40 knots would take that one. Overall, I'm happy with both of these. Zhirzhov is a house that I want to get more into. I love Overture. That is still my favorite from the house that I've tried. And 40 knots is probably right behind that. They're two different, completely different fragrances. But uh, when these pop up on Joma Shop, when they have those kind of steals of deals, I'm going to try to let you guys know. But uh, my first impressions of these fragrances of both of these is just really, really good. And Zhirzhov 40 knots and Safiro both awesome blind buys. So yeah, I, and now that is a successful blind buy according to me. I'm not saying go blind buy these. However, I think 40 knots is probably the safer blind buy. Um, yeah, I would say definitely the safer blind buy. Just a really nice scent overall. And as it dries down more and more, I'm getting less and less of the Ombre Nui comparison. So that's a good thing. I didn't want this to smell like Ombre Nui. I have a decant of Ombre Nui. I like that scent for what that is. Uh, much more rose heavy amber. So this is definitely going more the aquatic route. So they're keeping true to sort of the uh, idea behind this scent. As I said, 40 knots, aquatic scent, that saltiness, sea breeze air uh, with the woodiness, a little bit of sweetness. Very, very nice scent. That's all I have today, guys. Let me know in the comment section down below, what is your experience with 40 Knots or Zafiro from Zhirzhov? Do you guys have these ones? Have you tried them? Are they on your list to try? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you guys like what you saw today, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share this video, hit that bell notification so you're updated whenever I upload new content. But until then, have a fantastic day, and I'll see you in the next video.